Hello everybody, this is Jude here from Double G. It looks like we managed to get on back to what we need to do at the Garuda Desert. And it looks like there's a bit of a problem, and I'll explain that after she's done talking. Ganondorf Take the owners, narrator. three pieces of the Triforce. With its unlimited might, he summoned ever greater hordes of monsters. Seeing that the battle was won, Ganondorf vanished from sight. When Zelda learned of the Demon King's disappearance, she saw a thin ray of hope. If the remaining Hyrulean army could defeat Zant and Girahim in their master's absence, perhaps there was a chance. Taking the fight to the enemy's stronghold in Garuda Desert, Zelda was determined to end the war before the day was through. Now let me do a little explanation. If you're wondering about what happened before you take on the Garuda uh, Ganon's Tower, that part was uh, deleted before it just got unlocked, and that was my own fault to blame. In fact, it is true that I actually did that, and I skipped that part just for a various reason. And this video is about 12 minutes. I just made that quick because I went through a lot, I went to see Lego Batman with my grandfather, went to a restaurant, it was really good there, got studied by my grandfather here, there, and I figured that the next time we go to the movies we go see Logan, and also including Fast and the Furious 6. It's just really great that I can spend time with a lot, with my grandfather and everything, I just need to keep doing that. And I'm just going to spend time with most of my family members and all for this new year 2017 and the friends I have. Because it'd just be boring if you don't finish things off. Would you imagine if you were to do something else special in your life and you just didn't have anything else in your mind? If you have friends or somebody else you know, you want to spend time with them as much as you want to. Now that's the thing. If you spend time with them, then everything else you did together, the times they had, those are good memories to have. If you let that all go to waste, let it be gone, and not be able to do a thing, how could you easily finish things off if you don't know when to start? In fact, anyone else who wanted to spend time with anyone would want to give it a sink. And even sometimes, people wanted to give some space off too. But no matter how much you lost, or how much you win, as long as you spend time with the ones you cared, that's what really matters at this point. What really matters to me is that if I don't spend enough time with the people I care about, sooner or later if they do pass away, then I wouldn't be able to be there in their memories and won't remember them. I just lose sight of it. And if you lose sight of that goal, it just wouldn't be fun at all. At least that's how I think of it. Uh, just don't worry about what I said. Uh, anyways though, some person on YouTube just got the Nintendo Switch just now. In fact, if I'm not mistaken, it's supposed to be called another 3DS. I think he first got that. And I'm so damn freaking jealous that he got the Nintendo Switch. I should have won one as well. It's coming next month and I didn't get a chance and opportunity just to get what I wanted. It's just not damn fair. Aw oh, man, I wish I could get the hold of that Nintendo Switch just by playing on it and playing some other games, even recording onto that gameplay too. Breath of the Wild, I wish I could have that. Oh, I wish that was just still there. It's not even fair at all. Come on, the Nintendo Switch is about $300? It has to be the new technology. If it was down to $300 or $200, I wish that could be down to the minimum price. Who would have thought it? I should have just got that new Nintendo Switch game yeah, console. I should have tried it on. I would have played a lot of games on it. Please play a game on Oh man, it's just not as fair. It isn't. I just need to keep on trying. Oh man, the Nintendo Switch. It's such a good and valuable device. I wish I could have my freaking hands on it. <laughs> my bear stop doing that. It might annoy you guys, so I'll stop. Anyways, the Uncharted game is going to be starting up around March. It will be after the final episode of Hyrule Warriors of next week on Thursday. And on the day of the 23rd, I'm really getting hyped up for it. Lots of other people will get hyped up too. 
And it'll be the final climax of next week. Final episode will show up, and we'll get to see our victory. So right now, let's enjoy this game. Here we are with the key boss. The key boss itself is that when you take a whole enemy fleet on a unit, you just take out the rest of it. It's almost like you have to take a single army down if their leader is around. If the leader is coming around, you would have to take every single step just to take him down. And there's sand over there who's being come in a pile of crap. He may look like ancient ruins and all, but that pile of crap doesn't even understand what it means just to get beaten by a hero from the Legends of the Zelda. In fact, having the Legend of Hyrule Warriors or even any Hyrule Captain would even want to beat the living crap out of him. Some people would have want that anyway. Just to know about those things, I can't even begin to wonder how long it will take. Then again, some people would even have the brightest idea of what's on their mind right now. They want to beat every single crap out of every single game in the Warriors, bosses, things like that. Even when they're having a crucial time, you just want to finish it. But then again, you just take out one after another. No one else wouldn't even have a suspicious on that. But then again, being an adventure guild, or just being an adventure, can really help you onto those things. Then again, anyone else would just get mad and take down every single enemy. That part I know about. The second part I even get. The third part, well, it's almost like that. Looking really be much funnier is how a crusader can sometimes use herself as a shield or even being like I'm being a reference of Kodosabop here! <sighs> okay. This is gonna sound weird when I bring it up. I brought up before or may not or may have, but let me explain it. It all started to begin with a neat named Kazuma Satsu. Suddenly got the game that he wanted and then trying to push the lady off the way so that she wouldn't get hit by a truck. After Kasama suddenly died and went into the realm of the gods and the goddesses. Then he got greeted by the goddess named Aqua. He then tries to figure out what happened to him and, well, let's just say it's not even that funny, but it can be sometimes. How about after this cutscene on Teddy? Crap, my wish! Hello, my chicks are gone! Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Aren't you gonna back me up? Help! Everybody! Oh no, my magic doesn't even work! Huh? Is this? Hello! Hello there! Hello! Hello, hello! We're here to back you up, Leno! Yeah, it's about time we beat some butt! Yeah, I'm ready for you too! Come on, you lousy goblins! Now I can explain what I just said. Although Aqua may look like a goddess and all, in fact, she explains what really happened to Kasuma. He wasn't hit by a truck. In fact, he was run down by a farm truck and almost... Uh, <laughs> let himself. <laughs> See, he's face looking like... Oh, like a dead squirrel. <laughs> and then the search and he was taking off spell and a lot of people were laughing at him. It was just too hilarious. <laughs> he nearly let himself. <laughs> it was not even good. <laughs> and then he just got an embarrassment. <laughs> it was just not that funny, but it was too good. <laughs> Drunk? Then I gave you one to be drunk. It was just a worm drunk. <laughs> oh man. Okay. After Agua explained what happens to Kasuma, he would just have to be in another RPG game world. In other words, another world. They understand everybody else's languages and what they're talking about. What's more, 
is they get to choose any weapon or talent or anything else to bring with them into a parallel world. And one of those things is pretty simple. Kazuma didn't have any choice to think of, although Uncle was trying to rush him just to make sure he goes into that world. And then he decided to pick her just to go with. Then Aqua's replacement suddenly comes up, calling herself Eris. The guys who takes over Aqua's position, dragging Aqua with Kazuma, and they got suddenly into a parallel world. In which the Aqua says that she wouldn't want to go, she just refuses and wanted to stay. In fact, she says to herself, no, says to Eris, Hey! This is going to a, a, taking a guys with you is against the law! And then she acts like a little brat all the time. Then she was becoming a little bit of an annoying nuisance of a woman. In fact, it was just too hilarious to think that she was expanding in like a child. Who would have thought that idea? It's just so hilarious, I could even have the laughter out of it. And then they saw got into the power world, world to defeat the Devil King. The Devil King would have to be the final boss in the parallel world. In order to accomplish that, Kazuma has to rank up, become an adventurer, take quests, and then get a place to live or so. It's the funniest anime of all, so anyone else who's 13 years or older are allowed to watch it. For those who are a little child or something, I wouldn't recommend that. It's not even good. Although the 13 plus game is going to start up, so there's going to be a few languages that are going to be in it. You might as well prepare yourselves while you're at it, everybody, because the Uncharted game is going to be the hilarious game of all. And even can be the funniest, too. Don't want to even say it, but how I can just place it is really that simple. Okay. I guess that's just about it of what I have to say. Now then, stay tuned for episode 18, the final episode of Higher Warriors. This is Jufro and Double G. See you guys later. Bye.